Okay, welcome back people. Um, what I want to show you in this video is show you how to do just a basic, simple reveal text logo in Adobe After Effects, which you could use um, in a video project that you're making, or you could even use it for a YouTube, for your YouTube channel or something like that. Um, now what I want to do is, I want to start out in Adobe Premiere, even though I'm using After Effects, I'm going to start out in Adobe Premiere Pro. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and then I'm going to use the Adobe Dynamic Link-In system to take me over to After Effects. And then I'll make the title in After Effects and then so it automatically appears and is usable in Premiere Pro. Um, so I'll just open my example project. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Cancel that. That's okay. Whoops. I'm just going to delete this. This is one I was working on before. I don't need that anymore. And there it is there, I'm going to throw that in the bin. Um, okay, so, um, now that I'm in Premiere Pro, I've been working on my video project, I want to put like a title in there in that I'm going to make in After Effects. So, just go to File, go to Adobe Dynamic Link, and let's type in, let's choose New After Effects Composition. And the After Effects Composition is going to match the same size and dimensions as my video project. Okay, and this is just an, an easy way to get the sizes right. Um, if you are going to use this as a movie title, for example, if you're not going to use it in a video project, you could just go straight into After Effects, but I'll show you this way anyway. It's a good um, workflow feature that Adobe has. So click OK, and my computer's a little slow. Um, and you usually get this wheel, it'll be thinking, and then um, it'll ask you where you want to save this After Effects composition and give it a name. So I'm just going to call it Reveal Text and find a spot for it. I'll put it in, I've got a folder here called Reveal Text. I'm going to save the After Effects project in there. All right, now you'll notice After Effects is come up. So if you click on After Effects, you've got your composition already set up there. And if I go into Composition Settings, um, you'll notice I have 25 frames per second and I'm at 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels, which matches the um, which matches the uh, settings of my video sequence in Premiere Pro. So there's no problems with sizing. Um, all right, the first thing I want to do, it'll automatically default to a 30 second clip. I'm going to go back to where I was and I'm going to change that to 10 seconds because I might even go, I might even choose, no, I'll go 10 seconds. Uh, that's 100, 10 is good. And click OK because 30 seconds is a bit too long for what I want to do. All right, the first thing to do for this reveal text is we want to create a new text layer. So you can click the text tool and you can click anywhere in here and then it'll create a new text layer for us. And then you can begin to type. I might just type a uh, movie title. Okay, and over in the character panel, which should automatically appear, um, you can muck around with the size of the fonts, um, the spacing between the letters. It doesn't seem to be doing anything at the moment. I wonder why that is. Um, let me just check that out if I make it really small. No, okay, probably because, I'll just undo that. I need to have my move tool selected. That's right, I need to deselect it with my move tool and then I should be able to change the size and the spacing and all that but you could play around with those I could change the font type or type and all that um, now if I just click out a character and go into a line if I want to put this directly in the middle of my composition I can click this button here and then this button here and that'll put it right in the middle all right so that's I'm happy with that now I'll just go back over to Premiere Pro and I'll show you what's happened. So using that linking system, you can see um, it comes in as an asset in Premiere Pro. So I've got the linked movie title there and I can drag and drop that into my timeline and it will automatically appear. All right, and if I go back to After Effects, start working on it, it'll automatically update for us, which is really neat. Um, okay, so let's now add a mask to this, all right? Um, now, if, you just need to be careful with adding a mask, if I click, the square tool, uh, the shape tool, sorry, um, it's going to want to draw out a shape for me because you'll notice stroke and fill are options. I don't want that, so 
if what you want to do is you want to use the shape tool as a mask you can use it as a shape or either a mask we want to use it as a mask this time to hide and reveal stuff so you need to actually click on the layer that the mask is going to go on and then click the shape tool and you'll notice up here that the stroke and the fill are gone all right and now i can just draw out the mask shape like that just over my title draw a rectangle there and I'll go back to my move tool and there it is. Now what the mask does is whatever the mask is sitting over it will show okay and if nothing's if it's not sitting over anything if I move it it will hide it okay you can also in your also you'll see in your layers here you'll see that the mask has come up I can also invert it so it has the kind of reverse effect all right so everything that the mask is above is hidden and everything that's out of the mask is revealed okay you could play around with that I'm going to leave it as it is all right now you you just be when with your mask in if I just click the mask itself and I move my cursor over here I can actually move it like that if I click on the layer now if I click just on the layer itself and I grab the corner of the mask I can actually start to bend it like this and I can hide it like this and we can use some kind of unique things with it but I'm not going to show you that but that's an option that you could play around with all I'm going to do is is I'm going to select the mask move it across and then I'm going to keyframe it I'm going to animate it so that it comes in stops for a second reveals the title and then it zooms out and hides the title okay so to do that you want to move your mask across to the side so the words text is hidden and open your mask properties and go to mask path and turn on the time watch so that we're animating so at zero second mark this mask will be in this position then if I want it probably the effect to start about when one second time lapses so what I'll do is I'll move the player to the one second mark and I'll add a keyframe and so from this point in time to this point in time I haven't moved the mask all right now I'll move the playhead to the two second mark and then what I'll do is I'll actually physically grab the mask move it over to the top of the text so it reveals it and you'll notice when I move that it automatically makes a keyframe for me okay and because I've moved it after effects is going to move it along for me so let's have a look at how that looks so from the zero to one second mark I've got keyframes we're animating but I haven't moved it and then from one second to two seconds I've moved it so the mask will come across and reveal the text and I probably want the text to stay on the screen for maybe a second and a half so I'm going to move the playhead up to about three and a half seconds and I want it to stay there I don't want it to move so I'm just going to add a keyframe to tell it that I want it to stay there in that time um, increment and in about another second to match the rate that it came in at I'm gonna take it away so that the text then disappears so I'll move the playhead forward a second I'll physically grab the mask move it across and it's gone now let's have a look at if I scrub the playhead so how that looks so it's no text now it'll start animating it'll come in It'll stay on the screen for a second and a half and then the text will disappear I'll press spacebar to play it and that's what it looks like okay now if you wanted for example to say you want the, to go to move the mask to move all the text to disappear really quickly you could grab this keyframe you could push it closer and then that effect will happen a lot quicker so you can see that it comes really quickly um, say you wanted it to stay on the screen for longer you could highlight these two keyframes move it across and then they're going to stay on the on the um, screen the title will stay on the screen for longer okay now it's important to save command s just make sure you save that and look that's what happens you, you can sorry before I go and you can go and play around with the keyframes and adjust the position and all kinds of things you could even change muck around with the opacity and thing and keyframe the opacity and things like that um, if I go back to Premiere Pro and let's have a look at our linked example now you can see if I press play here what I've done is it's it's imported it's it's copied what I've done in After Effects so if I went to change this say I actually decide I've, um, I want this to happen really quickly all right I want it to stay on the screen really quickly and then go away if I go back to Premiere Pro you'll notice that 
automatically updates, which is really neat. Okay. Oh, it's going a bit silly for me, but anyway, you get the idea. Um, the other thing is, before I go, what I want to show you is um, if, for example, all right, I've saved my project, I've quit out of After Effects, all right, I'm not working on it anymore, I'm, I've saved my After Effects, uh, my Premiere Pro comp sequence, I've quit out of it. And I want to come back the next day and I want to keep working. I'll just show you what you have to do to, to relink the After Effects composition to Premiere Pro. It's really easy. You just um, right click the, the clip, the linked clip, and um, it will t open After Effects straight back up. I'll just open my project back up. Right now, I'm back into my project. It's the next day. I want to keep working on it. Um, but how do I open my After Effects up again? All you need to do is um, you need to just, it's just loading up. There it is. You just need to right click it, the clip, and edit original. And you'll see that After Effects will come back up. And then you're able to, it's now relinked, and you can keep edit in the movie title if you wish. Okay, now I hope that wasn't too long and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, that's a neat, really basic text reveal in Adobe After Effects and how you can start out in Premiere Pro and use the two programs together, which is a really neat feature. Okay, thank you. Bye.